Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? First of all, let me introduce myself because I want to get in the habit of doing that because on my earlier videos, I, was, I would always forget to introduce myself. So my name is Kent and this is EOS San Diego. I thought I'd shoot the video tonight behind the sign so you can see. I don't know if it picks up in the video. I'm a little bit of a distance from it. But there's a sign that says San Diego that way, Los Angeles that way. So we are kind of between San Diego and Los Angeles. The I-5 is right behind me. If you're familiar with this area, you know that's a major freeway that goes along the coast of Southern California. So the I-5 is right behind me. I'm in Carlsbad, California. This is EOS San Diego. I talk about the EOS blockchain and I talk about the EOS project. One of the most spectacular, interesting, creative projects, developments in the world. But what I want to talk about tonight is I want to talk a little bit about I noticed tonight that uh, on one of the uh, the monitor accounts that I look at, there's quite a few of them now, the EOS monitor accounts or where you can monitor the blockchain and different activities going on, that we have over 200,000 EOS accounts now. 208, 209, I think, if my memory serves me. Uh, when we did the snapshot, there was like 160-some thousand accounts. So a lot of accounts have been added here very quickly uh, since June. And we're in July, so a lot of accounts, 40, 50,000 accounts have been added in the last 30, 30, a little over 30 days or so. So I wanna talk about basics tonight because it's real easy if you've been in this in this very long and you followed it as closely as we have, doing an airdrop and buying, selling EOS and and creating all kinds of activities, um, you get kind of, sometimes you get people confused with what actually is going on here. And when people get confused with what's going on, they don't tend to stay interested very long because they, they simply don't understand it. So I want to go into a little bit of the basics and exactly what the EOS blockchain is and how it works. Uh, the EOS blockchain is 21 supercomputers around the world recording information. That's called the blockchain. That's public information. Anybody can see on, on the blockchain. You can see the recording of the information. And I'm always amazed at how much information you can tell, find, by just looking at the blockchain and then clicking on the transactions to find out where it leads. And you can just follow it, track it to different accounts and different activities. So it's, it's transparent and it's public. When I say 21 supercomputers operating around the world, it's really what we call block producers, which is simply independent computers operating around the world. Why is that significant and why is that important? Why does that make this project so valuable? The reason is because they're operating in a decentralized fashion. They're operating independent of one another, but yet at any time they can be exchanged with somebody else by the voting of the people that own the token. So there are 21 supercomputers operating throughout the world independently that can be uh, interchanged anytime with somebody else in a matter of moments because the, 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 uh, the, the block producers are being voted on all the time. And why this is so special is because not only are they operating independent of one another, they're, they're operating outside the authority of anybody else either. Also, there's no centralized authority operating these 21 producers. They're operating indep independently. They're, in, they're independent identities on the internet recording information. And when I say they're not centralized, I mean they're decentralized and they're outside the authority of anyone, including governmental agencies and bureaucracies or any centralized, um, different centralized uh, entities. They're operating completely independent. This is a very unique situation, unlike anything else that's ever happened before. The value to that is, is the recorded information is independent, like I said, but it also means that you can literally put anything on these 21 computers and record it forever on the blockchain. It's always there. It always exists on that blockchain. It's irreversible, it's irrevocable, it can't be changed, which is interesting, uh, but it can't be. I mean, there, there's certain people would argue with me about that as far as forking and some other things. But basically, it's immutable, it can't, be, it can't be changed, and it lasts forever. That is valuable. Um, I have a background in law. If things get recorded uh, in a deposition or in some kind of statement, they stay forever. You have to live to those words forever. The same way with the blockchain. 
you have to live up to what the blockchain says because it's recorded in computer code somewhere in the world on a database, on a computer. This is immutable. This is uh, 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 something that is valuable in so many respects. So when you have these supercomputers around the world recording information, what can they do? They can do anything. They can record anything that can be written in code. Literally anything that can be written in a computer language in code can be put on these supercomputers. Anything can be run on these supercomputers. And anything can be created on these supercomputers. That's the value of this platform. Immutable, erase, un, 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 unability, inability to erase it, transparent, and be able to be seen by anybody anywhere around the world. This is why this is so valuable. The other thing about this that makes it so valuable is the ability to create a monetary exchange or a weight exchange, lack of a better word, monetary, but a, 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 mean, a medium of exchange. You can create your own medium of exchange on this platform, which means you don't have third-party intervention. You can exchange value without a third party. So whatever you create on this internet, whatever you create on this blockchain, over the internet, you can exchange value back and forth on this blockchain. It can be recorded, it can be immutable, and it can be there forever and it can be immediate ways to exchange things, exchange value back and forth. Without currencies, without money, without normal modes of, m m normal mediums of, trans, uh, 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 of uh, transactions. And you can create your own way of transacting on this. This is the value of this. This is why this is so important and this is why this makes so much sense. So, really the basics of this is, is there are 21 supercomputers operating around the world that are completely independent of anything and, 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 and without any centralized authority operating or controlling them. Anything can be built on them and it, you can exchange any, we can create ways to exchange uh, value over them too. There'll be, there'll be unlimited amounts of things built on these computers around the world. There'll be unlimited amounts of ideas created on these. And this is the value of the blockchain. This is the basics of the blockchain. I hope that I made it simple enough for people to understand. But it really is really very simple. And the fact that so many people are getting involved so quickly shows you that. A lot of times we get caught up with the CPU and the RAM and the airdrops and other stuff. That'll come later once you understand how this works. But you will understand how it works very soon if you just get involved. You buy the EOS, you set up an account, and you start to watch the blockchain. This will all make sense to you very soon. So anyway, I'm going to title this video just the basics of the blockchain, maybe EOS 101, something like that. And hopefully, if you watch this video a couple times, if you didn't get it the first time, you will get it the second time or the third time. Or if you have a question, just put it in the comments. A lot of people will answer it. I try to answer my comments too. And you will see that uh, there's a lot of support in this community. So anyway, basics of the blockchain 101. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.